Now I've been using artisan mouse pads for a while now, and these 10 to X mouse pads are quite the competition. Very nice and secured packaging. I like it. It does come in like a straight like this. It's not rolled up. So, you know, you gotta unroll it and make it even first. I got the extra large variation over here coming in around 500 by 500 by 3.5 millimeters. Now, you can also get this in black if you want. But yeah, I got the purple over here. I think... It looks very nice. Now for the specs of this mousepad, it should have a hybrid surface. So it should have a low initial friction, high dynamic friction, and high stopping power. And it actually feels very nice. I have no problems with it. It does feel very easy to micro adjust. Now for the base, they call it the Apex Grip Tech, which is poron-like, soft to mid-soft. And it's actually pretty similar to Artisans. I really like bases like this because they really grip. They are not slippery at all. Yeah, like, look, I'm actually moving my yellow mat over here. It is crazy grippy. We're also gonna test it out more on my table over there. But other than that, they also mentioned the stitching. They have a below surface stitching. That's also one of the reasons why I chose Artisan mouse pads because their stitches are below the surface. So you also get that here. Very nice. Now this right here is the Tenta X, the last tanned limited edition mouse pad. It is 490 by 420 by 3.5 millimeters. That is big enough for me for my use. I have no problems with that. The artwork looks very nice, amazing. The texture also feels very nice. It is kind of rough. But it's not really irritating to the skin. Or maybe it's just because I'm used to it already. But yeah. It is also quite soft. There is some squish over there. And yeah, you can kind of press your mouse down to get a little bit more control. I really love the softness. I think it is on par with like a artisan soft. Anyways, this should have a hybrid surface. So it does have a high initial friction, medium dynamic friction, and low stopping power and yeah this does feel pretty fast and then it also has a below surface stitching which i really love so yeah comparing both of the mouse pads side to side the octogrip does feel a bit more soft and the glide also feels very nice they actually kind of feel similar when it comes to the glide speed but yeah, i feel like the last 10 limited edition over here does feel a bit faster just a little bit so i can see this mouse pad be a little bit more comfortable for tracking but yeah this one i have no problems tracking with this other mouse pad as well the octogrip but yeah it just might feel a little bit better here on the jacquard fabric and yeah the stopping power on the octogrip also feels a little bit stronger compared to the last hand over here but yeah for me personally i don't really have any problems with that low stopping power in case i really need to stop because the way i grip my mouse is i have my thumb and my pinky touching the mouse pad for more stopping power and yeah i really love having low stopping power personally because it just feels so much easier to flick okay yeah, anyways let's actually go ahead and test both of these mouse pads in game and see how they feel like splashing up The hunt begins. Critical One Fight enemy remaining. I'm a dummy now. Spike down A. Up one of these. I One enemy remaining. Nice. Meritions laptop alternative now. Like, parang save then. Oh! Like, go. And get him back, get him back. Spirits free. Kinda fed up. Why? Why you like this? He'll, he'll green, appreciate green, it. Green, 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 green. Ah, 
Oh, 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 sure. Wow! Okay, bro, who killed you? Who killed you? Phoenix. Hello, Dominic. Phoenix not there anymore, though. He's pretty low. He probably went home. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. All of the gameplay that you saw were with the Tenta X mouse pads. If you're interested in more gameplay like those, then be sure to check my other channel at Megs Gaming. It will also be in the description or you can just do youtube.com slash at M-I-G-S-S Gaming. So after playing and testing with the Tenta X mouse pads over here, here's my experience so far. I've been loving them. They feel like artisan mouse pads and that, that is a compliment. Artisan mouse pads are crazy good. And they pretty much do achieve that as well with these types of mouse pad for a cheaper price. I really loved playing with them. Both mouse pads were amazing. But I think I do lean more over here on the last stand Jacquard fabric over here. It's a little bit faster. But yeah, both mouse pads again are felt amazing. And another thing that I would point out is they do have a unique feel. I did test some control pads before. And what you'd normally see is they have like very high stopping power. So it's very easy to stop your mouse when you're moving. But it's also kind of hard to stop start the mouse when it's moving so micro adjusting is kind of difficult but with this mouse pad over here the octogrip it is very easy to start the mouse pad or the mouse moving on the mouse pad like they said it does have a slow initial friction so it's very easy to micro adjust like it felt like it's about to be a fast mouse pad but then you still get that stopping power which is amazing especially if you play games like valorant or where you really need to get that headshot for faster kills this one is really good because you know the micro adjustments there's a lot of micro adjustments you need to do in valorant and especially if you gotta just do a little bit it's very easy to do over here but when you're flicking as well it's very easy to stop with its high stopping power and then for the last hand over here it also does have a kind of a unique feature compared to the octo grip over here because even though the last hand mouse pad is faster over here, the initial friction is a bit higher compared to the octo grip. So when you start moving the mouse on the mouse pad over here on the last hand jacquard fabric, it is a little bit more controlled compared to the octo grip over here because this does have a higher initial friction again. But when you start moving the mouse, it's, it actually feels so much faster. So, you know, when you really need to get those micro adjustments as well, you you have trouble doing those micro adjustments because you maybe you're over flicking. Then yeah, you kind of have a bit more control over here on those micro adjustments. But when it comes to the gliding part, when you're tracking and when you're flicking, it's also it also just becomes very fast as well. It's not too fast, but I really like its fastness. And again, I already mentioned that I have kind of a specific unique grip where my finger are touching the mouse pad so it actually does give me some more stopping power so I really like low stopping power mouse pads like these because I feel like I just have a little bit more control especially when tracking it's just so easy and less tiring to move the mouse but yeah I definitely love both mouse pads I would definitely recommend it especially for the price and when you're gonna compare it to the quality Man, amazing mouse pads. Very grippy, by the way, as well. I would describe it as the same as the artisan mouse pad base grip over here. Very, very grippy. It does stick to the table amazingly. And yeah, I really love these mouse pads. Definitely won't hold you back. I'll go ahead and put these two mouse pads first link in the description if you're interested. And I'm not sure if I will be given a discount code, but be sure to use this. Why not? If if it works, it works. Use discount code M-I-G-S-S. -S. And yeah, little disclaimer, these mouse pads are sent to me by TentaX, but that won't change my review and my opinions on these mouse pads. Everything that you've been hearing are my honest opinions and review. 
Anyways, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. I pray and hope that this video helped you in some way. Don't forget to stay grateful, guys. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.